the primary understanding that we are wanting to chew on until you can really feel it is how do you know what you're under the influence of because you're always offering a vibration and that vibration is dovetailing with other momentum which causes stronger and stronger experiences so what do we mean by under the influence so we like to talk about how you came from non-physical and here you are and the non-physical part of you is always aware of you and always offering a vibration to you and about you that is God force it's life force it's pure positive energy there's no resistance in it it's a vibration knowing about your value and knowing about your deservability knowing about your worthiness and expecting all good things for you and from you and so this is a powerful influence that's flowing to you but if you're worried about something so you're offering a vibration that does not allow you to be in vibrational sync with your source energy then you're just not and that's why in fact the only reason that you feel negative emotion it's the vibrational variance that causes the chemical releases in your body that produce the effect of negative or positive emotion and through life experiences you've come to call those emotions different things but really it's the simple guidance about more in alignment with who you are or less in alignment with who you are and so since that is always being offered now we, we want to talk about that just for a little bit because we're encouraging and through time if you've been listening to us at all you've read books of process and things that we've offered and every process that we've ever offered was with the intent to help you come more into alignment with who you are these days we are explaining it in a way that you can get it if this is the first time that you've heard it you were source energy you came into this body the larger part of you remains source energy and here you are so as you're sorting things out you will always have a relationship with that non-physical part of you and that vibration of that non-physical part of you is a high pure frequency and the reason it's pure and high is because there's no resistance within it so when you are battling some dragon or some issue you have enough resistance within you that you're not matching up with the frequencies of who you are and that's what that vibrational difference is about so as you for example sit in meditation where you manage to quiet your mind when you quiet your mind that vibration ceases that resistant vibration ceases because when you stop thinking thoughts then you stop thinking negative thoughts and when you stop thinking negative thoughts your vibration rises and when your vibration rises and this is the statement that we want you to hear feel it when your vibration rises you accomplish the vibrational equivalency of your inner being who hear that you accomplish the vibrational equivalency you begin to vibrate like your inner being is vibrating which means you now know what your inner being knows more important you now feel as your inner being feels and let's call that under the influence of your inner being of source energy of whatever you want to call that you're under that influence well when you're under that influence you have a leverage you have a clarity one who is in alignment with who they really are is more powerful than millions who are not that is your leverage that is where your greatest influence to others is but often in fact more often than not humans are under the influence of something other than their own inner being Esther's gonna make some dash cards she thought about bumper stickers but she doesn't like bumper stickers on her car and she doesn't think that this would be a good bumper sticker for you to have on your car either I'm under the influence <laughs> but in reality you are always under the influence of something because no matter what vibration you're offering there is another stream of it out there somewhere either with source or the disconnected thoughts of disconnected humans and when you tap into that stream you are under the influence and so the question that we want to put to you is you just have to be sure what influence you're under are you under the influence of your inner being and their inner being who really knows who they are or are you under the influence of their disconnected moment in time and so are you waging a battle 
with them against anyone because if you are you can be so under the influence that you'll join battle because you would defend them to the end but in doing that you lose your connection to source energy who will not do battle with anyone and when you lose that influence now you're just in the same out there raw and ragged place that they are doing the best that you can by moving physical things around and we know there's a difference in the way people live there are people that gather together in the groups and they believe they are more powerful because there's more power in numbers and we will even acknowledge in the disconnected world meaning not in alignment with who you are so you're just playing the game of disconnection only or primarily the bigger your disconnected crowd is it will probably win the battle over the other disconnected crowd that is smaller and that's what you've sort of come to measure but almost no one is taking into consideration the clarity and the power and the universal forces and the cooperative components that come into play when you take the time to make sure before you go into conversation with them that you are in alignment with who you really are so that your true universal forces are with you so we're talking about power of influence did you get it and so a way that you may find that helps you know what influence you're under of course it's the way you feel if you're really mad you're not under the influence of source but if you're in joy and love and appreciation and optimistic and enthusiasm if you're looking forward to what's happening with your children rather than all wadded up about what is happening but it takes some practice because they have wanted you to get them that's what you keep doing to each other I want you to understand me so I'm really gonna lay it out here for you so that you can really understand where I'm coming from Esther sat next to a lovely lovely girl on the airplane yesterday who has all kinds of things that are going wrong in her life and she so wanted Esther to understand where she's coming from and as Esther was listening Esther was in such a good place everything in her world she's focusing in such a place she's in the receiving mode in a very strong way and so as Esther listened she didn't allow herself to be a sounding board she didn't commiserate in any way she just listened and soothed and listened and soothed and listened and soothed and listened and soothed and the conversation became less and less negative and more and more positive it just felt so good when they parted there hugging Esther didn't tell her anything about the work she does she didn't tell her anything about Abraham she just listened and soothed and listened and soothed and listened and soothed because Esther was with us and we know it's going to be okay for this girl and so this girl was not able to talk Esther into her worry about herself she had some kind of heavy-duty stuff going on so what we're getting at is you want to be understood and most have forgotten about the relationship with their inner being you can feel your relationship with your inner being all day every day but if you aren't consciously aware of what that emotional relationship is then you might have taught yourself or maybe your parents taught you or someone else to be under the influence of what they want and when you jump through hoops for someone else you really give over your power to someone who cannot be consistent oh the poor parent or teacher or anybody who promotes themselves as the one to always depend on will always let every single person they've convinced to depend on them they will let them down because it's not your job to be that for them it's their inner beings job and the less you try to be the one the more likely they are to reach for where it really is we say most people are looking for love in all the wrong places so let's say Esther is a really good friend of yours and she's got some things going on and you relate and you're interested and you like Esther but she doesn't really think that you really get her because first of all your life is going better than hers is let's say and so she might want to really confide in you and really explain to you what it's like and what she feels like and if she can talk you into feeling her pain then you're under that influence the thing we say about parents and children or anybody that's wanting to uplift anybody is talk as much as you can to them but only when you are in alignment with who you are only when you are in alignment with who you are so now let's practice that just a little bit because we know you heard and we know 
The reason that these words have been resonant with you is because you're doing some of all of that. You know that. So let's step back in a little more general place. This is the thing that we really want to say to you. If you don't know for sure that you're tuned in, tapped in, turned on because you've taken the steps to be there and you know what it feels like, then it's not the time to get into a deep conversation with anybody about anything. But if you know you're not feeling that way, then what you might want to say is, I so want to have this conversation with you because I don't care about anything as much as I do about you feeling good, but I might not be that much help to you right now because I'm as mad about this as you are. And we're not going to solve this together. So they will feel heard. And then you might say a problem and a solution are so different. If you think they can understand it, you might even say the vibrational frequency of a problem and the vibrational frequency of a solution are so far apart. And right now we are both problem oriented, which means we're only going to attract more problems if we chew on this. But I know for sure that you have put some really great clarity about what you want over there somewhere. And I know that help is on the way for you and for me too about this. I just don't think now is the time. So let's go get some ice cream or <laughs> let's do anything we can to sort of break that cycle right now until we regain our balance. And then let's approach it from a place of wisdom, because I know for sure how brilliant you are and how well-meaning you are and I know for sure how much life is supposed to be good for you and when it isn't it breaks my heart but see then I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing because I'm not supposed to let my heart get broken that means I'm not doing it either so I'm gonna detach myself from this a little bit want you to too and when we both get sure-footed again let's come back and approach this subject and find some real solutions and maybe they won't hear that the first hundred times <laughs> but in time if you demonstrate that you're only willing to give yourself to them when you are at your best they will come to recognize you as the one who soothes them into their own alignment it's so much fun and next you might say this to them and you might just say it to yourself I don't want to solve their problems this is you talking to yourself I don't want to solve your problems because your problems cause your solutions and your moving toward your solutions is the joy of your life because satisfaction comes from only one place having identified something and moving in the direction of it and if you're not moving in the direction of your own desire then you can't be satisfied so we were talking earlier about how do you know what influence you're under well what Esther has begun saying to herself and it's been really helpful just lately as we've been using this word is this a satisfying thought like a thought will come because thoughts come from whatever your point of attraction is and so sometimes a thought will come and it feels like it's coming out of nowhere it doesn't feel like you're thinking your thoughts it feels like your thoughts are thinking you so all of a sudden you got a thought going on in your head and so you might just stop and ask yourself don't judge it don't try to push it away just ask yourself is this a satisfying thought and if it is then just continue to let it unfold in your mind just enjoy its increasing satisfaction but if it isn't a satisfying thought then you've caught in those early subtle stages there is a momentum about thought and things that come from thoughts and everything comes from thoughts thoughts are turning to things that's a creative process thoughts are turning to things and since you got here as this little one and there were so many things around you it wasn't so obvious to you that everything that's here came from thought because you got here and they were already there and so it's easy to become as a human someone who just moves the things around and never considers where the things came from but once you start understanding the evolution of the universe and how thoughts are continually becoming from things and then you catch your thoughts early on so that you can control what influence you're under then oh, it is so satisfying in the process